All right, in this problem, we're asked to fill in the blanks below. So let's first start with uh, the first part. When we solve quadratic equations, we use the blank blank property. Now, when we are solving quadratic equations, remember a quadratic equation is just an equation uh, with a squared term in it. When we get down to our final step and we factor it, for example, uh, let's take a look at the equation, for example, x squared, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of an equation in my head, x squared, what can be factored? Uh, x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. We can do that. When we factor it, which is x plus 5 times x plus 2, here's where we use the zero products property. Since these two terms are multiplying together to equal 0, that means that either one term or the other term must equal 0. So for two binomials to equal 0, either one binomial or the other binomial must equal 0. So x plus 5 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. Solving for x, you get x equals negative 5 or x equals negative 2. Now, if you plug these back in, that will give you a true statement because you get negative 2 squared, which is 4, plus negative 14, uh, plus 10 equals 0, which is a true statement, and negative 5 also works. Now, this is the zero product property, what we just did over here. This is how we get from two terms or two binomials equaling zero, and we split it up into two separate parts. So this is called the zero product property. Now, here's the second part. When we are given a problem like 5x squared minus 18x plus 52 equals 0, we may be asked to solve the equation, or we may be asked to find the blank intercepts. Well, when we're solving a quadratic equation, even like what we're doing up here, the, um, the x-intercepts are going to be your roots, or your zeros, or your solutions. These are all synonyms, and this is actually going to be the next part down here. So wherever this, remember, a quadratic equation is uh, an equation that is a parabola. This is not a good parabola. Let me, let me do that again. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, not good at drawing parabolas today, I guess. Let me just make that more curved. There we go. That's better. Wherever this parabola intersects the x-axis, that's going to be our solution. So if it intersects at one point, you're going to have one solution. If it doesn't intersect, you're going to have no solutions. If it intersects at two points, you're going to have two solutions. Now, these are called the x-intercepts. So we're just going to write x-intercepts. We may, we may be asked to find the blank or the blank. Now, you could use a couple of different names here, um, I believe so. These are all synonyms for each other. So one way of calling the x-intercepts, or one way of um, calling uh, the solutions to a quadratic equation, uh, you can say that they are the zeros. I personally say this one the most often. You can say roots. And I think that's, I uh, believe that should be it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. But yeah, mainly you're going to say zero or the roots or the um, x-intercepts. Those are probably the only two I can think of now. There may be a third one, but this should be totally fine. The zeros or the roots are just the same thing. Um, so yeah, if you need any help, make sure to shoot me a message below, and I will try to help you as soon as possible. Thanks.